At Lycan Svenniger, we ensure that you have the skills to go out onto the battlefield with the knowledge you need to succeed. Many of our graduates end up with ultra kills, rampages, and godlike sprees. I didn't know what I was going to do. I, I kept getting, you know, different heroes to play and I kept losing every game. My MMR nearly tanked to well below 1000. At Lycan Svenniger, they make every student feel empowered. At Lycan Svenniger, we give you the tools you need to win a game. Whether it be micering your wolves, or using your stun at the right time. Before Lycan Svenniger, I would just use my stun. I'd throw it anywhere, willy-nilly, not even worrying about getting a kill. But now, I've graduated from this program, I'm seeing huge success with both Lycan and Sven. Thank you, Lycan Svenniger. For a free consultation, call 1-888-410-7150 and let a Lycan Svenniger advisor help you win a game today. Thanks, Lycan Svenniger. This is Roland from Defense of the Patients, a Dota 2 podcast. We'd like to thank you for listening, and we hope you're enjoying our content. If you are, tell a friend. Find Dot P on defenseofthepatients.com or go to iTunes to download the show and leave a comment. We will read the best on the show. Also, you can go to Facebook and give us a like. Sincerely, from everybody here on the show, thank you for listening to Dot P. Hello all, and welcome to Defense of the Patients, a Dota 2 podcast. I am your host, Roland, sitting here with my wonderful... Co-guest host. Co-host. Co-guest host, coast. Co... Space ghost, coast to coast. <laughs> Wazoo. Uh, I step out from the shadows and throw a... <laughs> <laughs> and today, we have a very special episode for all of you. Cyphus is off in Wonderland, probably, I don't know, dressed as a woman somewhere, asking for money. So we... Wow, that's the... <laughs> exactly. That's... We're going right. I thought we were going to peek and start hitting him really hard, like, minute 30. No. And let that run out the I, rest I thought of the show. I'd just go right Because I've got, that. like, 20 minutes of material. <laughs> Let's no. do a state of affairs before we get into the Cyphus Sure, we bashing. will. But, uh, yeah, Cyphus is up in, in Boise, Idaho, presenting... Uh, psychological research that he's been doing for the university that wazoo me my fiance sounds like the perfect Cyphus start to. to like a terrible monster mystery it's like he does psychological work at the university <laughs> or like it's the like, perfect start to, to a, a good boise career. idaho that's the scariest part <laughs> yeah. but he's a smart guy all around yeah so. he's he's a, he's a good dude and uh he is missed this episode but this is the first time that wazoo and i have been able to do an episode together which I was excited for because uh, we are brothers. We I have known Wazoo longer than anyone else other than my parents because I've known him since I was born. So and I'm I'm the anti mage and he's the terror blade in this scenario. <laughs> I, but I have a really cool ult and your ult's kind of lame. Well, man, I focused myself on like hardening my abs and stuff, <laughs> like and getting and chicks. magic. Again. Like magic is like drugs. I'm like, and me, I'm like, I love I... magic. I can like create clones and like sunder you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this will be a tale of two brothers edition. It Dota. will. We'll get into it. We're gonna still talk about Dota, of course, um, mainly as a focal point. But we're also gonna talk a little bit about um and how gaming, it all, how I guess. it all started and what it means to us. Honestly, before we even okay, let's get state of affairs out of the way. I wrote it on this uh, breadstick box because yep. I didn't want to have Dota running. <laughs> yep, <he's laughs> guys, guys, I'll pay for pay um, for that with uh with the what is it Imprezi? No, what is it? Italian breadsticks with olive oil. No, olive no, olive? your uh, fundraising thingy. Oh, Patreon. Patreon. I, I <laughs> yeah. paid for that breadstick box. <laughs> no, it didn't because we make nothing off of Patreon. <laughs> um. So yeah, we're we'll get into we'll get into how it all worked out. I want to give kind of a backstory and how I landed at Dota Two, and and also how Wazoo landed at Dota Two. But first and foremost, I'll start off with my MMR. Bam! The first episode I have recorded where I have been over two thousand MMR in either party or solo. I am two thousand forty nine party, which is about twenty ahead of Cyphus right now. And he's gone till like Saturday, so I've got plenty of time to like really get ahead of him. Um, and then I'm sitting at a solo of 1596. I can't lose the solo is how it feels. 
I feel like I'm out. Outcla- I'm outclass. Pride people. cometh before the fall, my friend. I know. Pride does. Because I got up over the, over the three K hill and I saw it, and it was like, it was like when Hugh Jackman in um. That one movie with the tree, <laughs> the, the tree of life. Oh, that was sick. when he like sees it. Yeah, he sees the universe. And he goes and limp armed like that. Three <laughs> K feels like that to like an average Dota player for me, at least. Like that was a big landmark. Hey, that's for me. oh yeah. That means you are you are a good portion above average. Not by much, and really like it's weird because I remember having Gorgon on the show, and I said at the time that I thought it was like two point six, and he thought it was around three K, and I actually mm-hmm. my my opinion switched since I feel like yeah. maybe the average skill levels a higher little low. than higher two, than higher than 2.2. Really? Yeah. I feel like I'm average now. Yeah. Uh, I feel like you're above average. I feel um, like you do some I'm sitting at 2979 on my party and 2976 on my solo. Mm-hmm. So like, I don't know, man, I'm just grinding, grinding them games. Oh, Cyphus and I went on a crazy grind. We went on like 24 games. Cyphus has gone so no support ever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Shit, this song sucks Shit. like all oh, my games. We have to buy wards. <laughs> we have to buy couriers. Uh, I, I like playing support from time to time, dude. It's like <coughs> it's like being, our, being Leonardo DiCaprio and going like like wearing like a hat. Glasses <laughs> to, to, to cover your face. <laughs> <laughs> so no, when you're support, you just... <laughs> I'm not like a star carry. I mean like, or anything like... The thing that sucks is when you have other things going on in your life. Sure. And then you're not as good at Dota and you're just like, bullshit. You're just like, nope, you're just not putting like 30 hours a week into it anymore. Yeah. Where So Mara, and I think you played with Hata Kamara. Mm-hmm. Or, I don't know. I've heard some skits and stuff she's done. Yeah, she's, she's, done, she's been awesome in the .p community, but she, uh, she doesn't want to play. She stopped playing indefinitely because she's like, I'm going to school, 16 credit hours. I have a, a job. And I just don't have the time to devote to Dota to be any good. Because it requires the time of, like, a part-time job. Yeah. And But, I, I mean, at the same time, I <clears throat> guilt myself for the, that exact mindset. But what are you playing for at the end of the day? I mean, are you playing to always be an average player? Because odds are none of us are going to break out of that and be like, we're semi-pro or pro. You know, like, yeah. a select few people can do that. I mean, even people like Ursinity, who are 4K, I mean, he... He's not, doesn't have, uh, like, a, a he could, of grandeur. Though. I don't, I don't, I mean, you I know think it'd be really hard You know why is because of his mindset, man. He, he has opinion. a good mindset. He has a good mindset. Although, <laughs> Mally was giving He'll him He'll probably sh- go do real life shit like a... Yeah, he's going to be like a historian. A aspired young man. He's going to teach history, high school Aspiring history. Aspiring, young, inspired young man. Yeah, he's he's a cool guy. Mally was giving him shit today because <laughs> uh, Ursi is really vocal about how he doesn't like Troll Warlord. I'm like, such a shitty hero, broken, can't be killed. Fucking. Ursi? Yeah, Ursi hates Troll Warlord. I know you love Troll, and he was like, oh, when I told when I told him that you love Troll. but I but, like him be- for the reasons he hates him, guaranteed. Well, be- well, he's... He's impossible to shut out. He sent in a tweet that I thought was really good. He's too overpowered with his ult, for one, mm-hmm. and for two, he's really, really, really hard to shut out. He can go to jungle if you push him out of lane, just farm easy, using his swirling axes to not get hit by the big guys. Exactly. I mean, and the, then ult, ult up and just take camps really quick. It's not quite fair right now. He has he has literally everything, and I'm finding the tweet as quickly as I can. He said, uh, "Troll offers this is why troll is so overpowered in Ur- in Ursinity's opinion, as per a tweet." He says, "Troll offers all the push of a pushing hero globally, no less." Damage of a carry, crazy sustain, plus crazy disable, plus uncounterable. Uh, I felt, you know the game that we had that you clicked ranked, even though I didn't want to play ranked with you anymore? And when then I we got, won. And then we went one. It was yeah. like, Iceberg Sam! Like, we were like tanking <laughs> into the ground, and we somehow pulled it out. And I was like, okay, I'm going to build a blink dagger on this fucking sniper. Um, I felt like sniper countered him. Didn't you? Yeah, but... I mean, a good team is going to be able to shut down one sniper. Okay, you play troll. You're like, a say traitor. That, say Ursi's is... on, like, Lena. He'd just run up and Laguna you and combo you to so death or something. So, what are you worried about when you're playing troll? Because I know you play a ton of stuff. I'm worried about a team... I'm worried about my own team more, honestly. Okay, well... Because I'm worried about people say... that don't lock down for me. And also, like, let heroes get away when I could get them. Because they're just like, oh, melee hero. And it's like, no, dude, not melee hero. Mm-hmm. I'm a ranged hero, too. You know? Yeah. And, like... Um... 
Cyphus does that a lot. He'll just like zink and nuke a kill out when I'm just about to axe it. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, sorry, man, can't even get in the way. And it's like, <laughs> dude, I can just press Q and switch to the throw. Yeah, I like axe. to bonk guys on the head. Oh, it's fun to just. <laughs> and then He's throw like it. a freaking ridiculous troll clown, dude. He just yeah. wah, 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 I throwing rem- shit at people. I remember, I, I mean, I ran into him on my all hero before he was in meta. And then I played him a couple of times, like way before he was in meta. And I decreed. Uh, and I'm sure on earlier episodes I said it, that I think he is the worst hero in the game. Like, I, I said that. Like, I'm like, he is probably the worst hero, he's lame, he only has a spinny thing and a throwy thing, uh, he makes things go faster, cool, pretty lame hero. And now to see him just rise to, like, such popularity that people hate him. You know, kind of like Britney Spears, she rose to such popularity that people just were like, hey, let's just hate her, and we'll get way more fun out of it. Troll, though, is a hero I love to love to hate. I think you need to nerf because that's what the realist in me says. But the fun times guy in me says he's fun to play for me, for my play style, because he is that god hero in all things that should be carry, Mm -hmm. which is knowing when to farm the lane, which, you know, he should be punished for that. He should be punished for when he's out of lane, but he isn't because of axis, flying axis. It's just bullshit kind of. But missing a stun doesn't, like, uh, bother you, because you primarily, I mean, you play a lot of Wraith King, a lot of Sven. Oh, that's out of my hands, man. Like, <laughs> that's in God's the, hands? The bashes, the bashes are in God's hands, man. Like, I do not look at that. Like, I, I don't have I any control out bashes. of it. I forgot bashes. Yeah. So sometimes you'll get one, and someone will think they'll get away. Like, you'll get one hit, and they'll go to turn, and the second hand will just... <laughs> and, uh, and then you just run up on him and... Da, 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 hit them, like, four times. And then as they're running away, you're just... Flying axes. Yeah. <laughs> it, it almost always guarantees a kill early game. It's ridiculous. So do you feel like he so you you definitely feel like he's overpowered. You feel like maybe he should be rebalanced. Ult needs um the cooldown needs to go up. I mean For his ult. It def- yeah, it is definitely. Really, do you think it should be global? Yeah. How come uh how come uh how, yeah. Maybe there is not. another one. Who's the other But it shouldn't matter with a good team because you'll just gather up around him when you're pushing the tower anyway. What about Sven? How come his double damage isn't global? You know what I mean? Because that's... It's not even double damage. It takes a second to be that's double That's schlonk or schlonk. <laughs> but wouldn't you think the same if Trolls wasn't global? But his is something that just increases attack speed. I know, but even... I was playing Oracle um, with a Troll ult. And even his Oracle, like, I, they didn't anticipate the animation for Oracle to hit that fast. I was like... I looked like, you know, a magician with, like, what I was doing. Um, I think it's a little cheapish. Not just cheap. It's just overpowered, you know? And it feels like that's what people do in general is, or people, Ice Frog, you know, <laughs> um, does in general is he overpowers a hero he wants to see played and then he just kind of dials it back. I mean, you don't see any of the old carries, it feels like, that were even played like a year and a half, two what years a, ago. Even lo- like, n- not even Someone a year and a half, around. two years ago, like... Five months, dude. Where? What happened to Faceless every game? What happened to Lycan every game? What Lycan happened to... is still Team Secret got exclusive buyout on Lycan. They're just like, we... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just like, we draft this hero. And, yeah, serious. We can't draft anything else in RTZ's spot, though. That's the that's the caveat, is they can only have, <laughs> have like, like TZ, dude. Like TZ, or it's more like Shadow Fiendy. Shadow Fiendy. Shadow, Shadow Fiendy, dude. Yeah, Shadow Fiendy. He sounds like a mix between like the Fonz and <laughs> like the Hell Robot from Futurama. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I he'll he'll see a nerve. I'm surprised he didn't. Honestly. Drop off. That was that was you bonking the table. You look around the. <laughs> Uh, so let's get to the point of why this was a, an exciting opportunity, because Cyphus and I could have recorded an, an episode. It was just, I said, hey, we've never done the combo with Wazoo and I, I'd love to, I'd love to do it. Um, Wazoo was like, Wazoo, you must come on the program. And I'm like, fuck <laughs> you. You're like our Kramer, dude. Yeah. It's, it's really weird. I promise we don't time it or anything. Wazoo usually just walks in during the end of a show. Uh, it just happens. And it's funny. I think it's good. And I like Postmaster Wazoo. But Wazoo and I are brothers. Known in my whole entire life. And uh, what really started off our video game spree was 
Wazoo, once again, interesting. I want to tell this one story about our video game spree. It's got to be Mario and Luigi. I was he gonna... always played Luigi. I always played Mario because, mm-hmm. hell yeah, older brother, man. And I always, yeah. I never gave him a turn because I'd never die. Yeah, no, he wouldn't die. And Even um, in Gears of War, you wouldn't die. I want to fuck Andrew. Yeah. What... <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a funny story, too. I'll tell it. We can tell it later. Okay. But it's not really that funny in a context of, like, your entire podcast because <laughs> it's gears of war related hey i like gears of war man i used to anyway yeah. i i don't anymore really yeah i'm more of like a bloodborne type guy yeah you're into bloodborne but um what i wanted to go all the way back to and, and kind of talk about and then and climb our way out of it was nexus tk uh yeah. what <clears throat> started pretty much me and video games and it was Wazoo found this this online MMO, maybe one of the first MMO, maybe one of the first 10 MMOs. It was one of those weird 2D MMOs that came over from, they were like ported Korea. from Korea and Japan and stuff like that. Like games mm-hmm. like MapleStory, it's actually the same company, Nexon. Yeah. Um, pretty much all they did was sold um, server source, source code to US developers, and that's how they sold it to Crew later on. Oh. And they just bought pretty much the licensure Mm-hmm. to that and so it's just like a server filled with people who still, still subscribe to this archaic it ten dollar game $10 it was archaic for the time yeah and no, this was it had graphics of like final years. fantasy 6 on the snes but, yes and it was a computer game and we had we had a dad who uh was very computer i don't know you know savvy he did a computer job so we had computers in the home that was a curse and a blessing yeah <laughs> curse and a blessing. <laughs> we, we, might, we don't need to get into that yeah <laughs> but he felt it was important for us to have our own computer and that was cool that sparked our interest but nexus mm-hmm. was a different type of mmo because everything from the punishment to the player ran organizations were all done player to player Mm -hmm. so instead of having like a guild you join in world of warcraft i mean that's player to player but these people would have like buildings established and stuff like the merchants or whatever like weird like or the clans like a caste system from think think like caste system from like ancient korea kind of thing Mm -hmm. and like that's the setting of the game and so me and josh that's kind of like where we grew up in a way i guess Mm -hmm. was that game and other games like it yeah, uh, so we started there, and then... I guess we're just using our real names? I guess so. Uh, yeah, hello everybody, I'm Josh. Uh, this is Andrew. Don't DDoS me, don't DDoS uh, for, me. For a very long time, I, I didn't say names, but I've already made a name mess up, and so have you, and I don't really feel like combing through the whole episode to find Please them. Please do. <laughs> Blank it out and be like, you cannot say that again. <laughs> but then, uh, I don't really remember how it happened with StarCraft, do you? I loved StarCraft from the moment it came out. Oh, you because played at a, a the 1996, church. like around maybe a little later, 98 maybe. Um, a, it came out. There in was 96. this weird, like, I don't want to say weird. I mean, I think just their practices in general were kind of strange for me at the time. Mm-hmm. But it was an Episcopalian church, and they just had like 20 computers, dude, <laughs> like old as beige looking motherfuckers <laughs> that like had the huge towers and everything. And a guy went through and installed a spawn copy of StarCraft. <laughs> On every single one and people awesome. would just go during church time all the kids would just sit and do that instead of go to church <laughs> Starcraft. and then we were like the parents were like they can't they have to make their own choices and i was like that is so weird like my parents would be like and you would bail the, every sunday over here yeah. you would bail every sunday and it was his friends not mine so i yeah. never went but that's when i remember like getting cheese the first time with cannons like going to run out and yes <laughs> all my guys i'm like cannons? where are those there I, like, had I still leave. possess a little yeah. bit of that inside of me even to this day and so why i guess the crazy thing is and i i guess i just realized this uh every video game that i've played and loved uh if i hate to admit it i hate to admit it but it's been a suggestion from wazoo uh he brought starcraft home and i literally I played so much StarCraft 1. Um, we played WarCraft 3. We played that, Age of my Empires. My favorite was WarCraft 2, though. WarCraft 2 was That was, was so really dope fun. for the time. I mean, oh, like the trees great. being able to get... Where you just you set up a forest camp or a, yeah. a whatever. I um, can't believe they're not camp, making that game, it. putting it right in front of me right now. Give me and WarCraft begging me to 4. play that game. Yeah, give me WarCraft, Warcraft 4. WarCraft 4 and being like, it, all the things we've ever done wrong to you are fixed in I, this game. I think they're worried because WarCraft... Three uh, had the hero, and that's where Dota really spawned. They want those sub fees, man. Yeah, they do. 
They they don't want to just sell a game for sixty bucks, and that's why uh, in StarCraft One, guess what we saw? We saw StarCraft One, and we saw Brood Wars, and now StarCraft Two. We saw StarCraft Two. We saw Heart of the Swarm, and now we're gonna see Legacy of the Void. So they're getting two expansions off StarCraft Two, where they got one off of StarCraft. And Brood War was, it you was know, awesome. arguably the best game expansion ever in the history of games. Firebats, medics. Uh, I mean, it, it, it made awesome. StarCraft what it was in the competitive scene in Korea as well. Oh, it, yeah. Completely. That's, and I know a lot of people will argue other video games. That's timing, of course. But, but I feel like StarCraft kind, kind of was a spark in the esports community. I feel like without StarCraft, we wouldn't be as developed as a community. Just because... All of a sudden, people started knowing Korea for StarCraft. Like, I've talked to random people who have been to Korea, and they're like, oh, yeah, I know about StarCraft. Never played it, but I know about it just because I've lived in Korea. And it's like, Dude, wow. I had StarCraft, like, depression at points. Like, <laughs> in the heat of it, like, several years ago when StarCraft II first came out. Oh, yeah. Like, I remember playing my hardest, and it was like... <laughs> platinum 86 you were gold and you're like, for a while too and you're just like it's not fair it's, not fair. it's right. like how can i be so shitty at this shit i spent all my time on oh i know uh it was like, that's the thing with dota is i always felt like even if it was crazy hard to get better i always knew i was getting better it felt like i was mm-hmm. getting better in those early stages well starcraft 2 the meta leaked down so quickly yeah like a pro would do something where it was like oh that's cool i've never seen that and then all of a sudden you log in like 10 minutes after that game and everybody's doing it yeah and you're like opposed to seeing one meepo on the ladder trying like jungle meepo or something you're like yeah. you're seeing in StarCraft these builds being ran over and over multiple games in a row and sometimes it, and, the, and and that is an interesting distinction and they do it until they worked i mean anybody who listens to this and also plays StarCraft 2 you know the four gate okay the four gate a prolific protoss uh, build that you get four gateways as quickly as you can you get warp gate and then you get units in their base right away i think right the away. guy who used that the earliest He's that Swedish guy that's really awesome. Oh, um... It's not Swedish, it's Ukrainian. Uh, uh, White... White White Raw. White Raw. He said the best thing anyone's ever said. It might as well be like wisdom from Buddha or Jesus, Mm -hmm. is how wise this is for me for gaming. And he said, no GG, no skill. Yeah, no GG, no skill. And And ever since then, dude, you always bow out to your opponent like I have. Like, if you don't ever, like, say that, then you don't have the skill to, like, have lost or won. Okay? Yeah, even if it's infuriating. And White Raw, uh, for anybody who likes StarCraft, has a great stream. Uh, he's funny often. I mean, he's funny to Americans because his culture is so different. I think he's on TT now or something. But what he used to do is he had a bunch of independent sponsors, and that's how he funded it. Yeah, and, I mean, he cool. probably scraped by for a little while there, but he knew what he loved. He had a family. He's he's definitely older for StarCraft, too. I think he's in his 30s. And, I mean, he did it independently. Mm-hmm. He didn't have... He wasn't under some organization. He's not going to so win that's interesting. GSL or anything. But, anyway, Wazoo and I, we played StarCraft 2 for probably two years together, I'd say. Three years. It uh, was dark times, friends. It was dark, dark times. times. Um, there was real rage. I, I broke... I had this Razer mouse where it had a a 10 key uh on the left side of the mouse it's a you guys probably know what it is it's the razor mouse with the 10 key and you use shift commands in starcraft like shift one through shift however many you know digits you want for control groups well playing a game against uh wazoo's uh he only played terran he was a terran loyal uh i never saw him really play anything else and he they're w- the humans, uh, <laughs> they're the you know. Humans. Like just... I'm on your side, dude. <laughs> I am. Like if ever like we were invaded by crazy blue guys, like hand me a rifle yeah. and a stim pack, man. Um, which and I kept saying you need to you need to play random in order to understand yeah. it all. And you're you, probably right. You need to play random in order to understand the Back game. Back then I was like, fuck, that's way too much shit to learn, Brown. <laughs> and now yeah. I look at Dota and it's like Jesus, like yeah. all the crap I know about this game just from playing it. I still have the hotkeys for any unit in StarCraft memorized. Well, because they were like P for Pylon. <laughs> so like you're hooked on phonics. It P mixed was with shared it. with a lot of different things. I like P B P. P. <laughs> 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 Very good, Roland. But, uh, I mean, the hotkeys weren't the hard part in that game, and you could always um, change it. We w- can I tell the story about the back? About oh, yeah. can I tell it? Okay, so this is what happens, guys. Uh, 
I, I used to drink a little too much. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to even include that. We we went out to the bar this night, and we were both inebriated, okay? And we're like, let's play a game of StarCraft. We're living in an apartment together at the time. And he's sitting, like, 15 feet away from me, but we can't see each other's screens. <laughs> and it comes down to a moment where I think I, like, cannon rushed you or something. And you're like, you surrender the game and, and come at me. <laughs> Okay, you leave out some important <laughs> distinction for my rage out on you, dude. And that's that I told you I wanted a real game to practice. I remember that. Yeah. And so, you just kept cannon rushing me. <laughs> and I'd get away with it, too. And, it made, and, and it'd be like, it I'd like check joke. my base and I'd be like, all right. Like, I wouldn't see anything. And then I'd see a little faint blue. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then, like, you put a, like, pylon on the low ground and you're, like, warping up cannons. That was when you could build a pylon on the low ground and put a cannon on the high yeah. ground. They got rid of that. Did they? You, you can no longer when did do they that. do that? Uh, Brood War or not Brood War? Heart of the Swarm. Yeah, I didn't play after Legacy. The glorified all. patch. Um, not Legacy's the new one. You're talking about uh, Wings of Liberty. Yeah, that was the Terran one. Yeah, the Legacy of the Void's the thing I don't care about really. The <laughs> close beta. It's like, I cool, watched, I don't care. I watched some Get gameplay. It looks like another really cool patch for uh, for StarCraft Two. Um, but this this particular time, he's super fucking pissed, and I'm kind of pissed too that he's so pissed at it. And so I grab a chair to put it in front of me, and like, get back, get back, you, and I have this chair. And then he pushes me, and I push him, and he accidentally, like, I didn't even push him that hard. He just kind of trips on his own legs and hits his back and break, like, pulls. What happened to your back? What was what did the doctor say? I don't even know, man. It, like, fucked a nerve up or something? They pretty much just, like, gave me pain pills when I... Eh. <laughs> yeah and i was like what the fuck and then i like it still hurt after a month so i went back and they x-rayed me and they're like i pushed they wrote me some more i news and then they were like all right all right, all right. <laughs> yeah. and, like my back's been fucked ever since I didn't but mean to. <laughs> i do yoga a lot and stuff and that helps so. yeah i didn't mean to it, the push was just a weird push and he hit the back of a couch with his back and it just was hit in such a way that it just like really got him good and I feel bad, and I'm apologizing on air for it. But um, what are you? I'm the point this I'm is trying bullshit. to illustrate. I don't want your bullshit apology. <laughs> he's he's labeled himself the crippler. People. The crippler. <laughs> yeah. I when I was crippler. laying on the ground, like I couldn't move, I threw my back out, and like <laughs> this is like a 23 year old guy. You didn't throw his... your back out. I threw your back out. <laughs> yeah. The crippler strikes again, dude. <laughs> Well, you didn't strike again, because if you strike again, I'm going to strike in your mouth. <laughs> but No, um, I'm, just, I'm just, it was just a story, just to give you guys an idea of how competitive we were so over StarCraft. I guess what we're really trying to illustrate is that our, our gaming relationship has been very adversarial. We've, um, competition. It's been more about healthy competition than sometimes <laughs> very unhealthy competition that we laugh about now, but... Okay, these it's are the type true. of friends I have. They just when I broke my back, they just put a bunch of beer around around my nightstand and then put Jesus candles like from the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> and lit Jesus and candles. And we got gold for, for stars. Remember they gave me yeah. a gold star? Yeah. <laughs> the crippler. So, those were my college other college days. Yeah, those were our more reckless college days. Just a couple Back when I was ago. like, I'm going to be a fine arts major. Yeah. And then I was like, no. Do you, you have below average looking guy arts major? <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and as you guys can see, the the dynamic initially with Defense of the Patients, and I'm going to catch us up a little bit to where we are now, which is Dota 2, which is a team game. And you would think, Wazoo, that in a team game you would be nice to your teammates and not to the en and be mean to the enemy team. You can call them whatever you want, bro. I stop that because a, and this is important. I get <laughs> a lot so of reports important. sometimes, and I don't want to go back to prison, man. You've been. Like, to, I, I went like to prison out. with you, and that was horrible, bro. You just came and visited, man, and walked around the yard, and then you guys were like, "Well, see ya. That was terrible." And I was like, <laughs> "Bye, guys. Like six more games left." <laughs> You know, do you know the reason why? Do you have any idea why? I can always feel them. Kind of like <laughs> you feel when you do something bad and you lose karma from your soul, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, not that I felt that feeling in a while, to be honest. But, sure. Um, like that, that, like, you know, when you cross the line, I think I do at least. 
Yeah. But it's something I'm working on. Hey, we all work on it. We all rage in different ways. And, like, that's one of the reasons I took a seat back on .p is because, um, like, I don't have, like, rage outs. But I say things in anger, like, sarcastically that I think a lot of people take really wrong. And if taken really wrong, I could see why they would have a problem with that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, And that's not to say my behavior is excusable all the time well you guys need to go but. back and listen to episode seven where uh Cyphus says a dumb thing about crystal maiden's ult and it yeah. just pissed wazoo off that's a good that's a good example yeah you um, know like i feel like sometimes when egos get involved which like, we all have it one. just they hit off each other until they explode and you meet rare few people in this game that can like keep their head cool and one thing I've gotten good at is actually recognizing those people that help keep my head cool because they keep their head cool in the game. Yeah. Um, because Dota is more stressful than most things it turns out at times. Oh, like, yeah. I'm, I'm talking like everyday life things. Like you go to your job, like you're driving. Even like now, like a guy like cuts you off, like you slow down and it's like, okay. Yeah, you're just that like, used to make right. my heart race. But like from like three ganks coming out of the woods, like recognizing <laughs> them all in slow-mo and like running and your heart's pounding, like you get in the moment, especially if you're like a super competitive person. I th- Oh, I, th- I, th- I think where what gets you the most, and I completely I'm understand. I'm super competitive. This is what gets you the most that I've noticed, and we've played hundreds and hundreds of games together, is when you're Lycan and you have an Aegis, and you, are, you know that you're going to go in and die, and then everybody's going to collapse, and then you're going to come back to life and rip people apart. But you run in and, like, initiate and die, and we're like, oh, he's dead, back up. And you're like, I have Aegis, no, I have Aegis, they run away, I have Aegis. They run away like peasants, man. Like <laughs> You're like, man, they're, like, running behind you, like, all yeah. charge. And then, like, the second you die, even though you're just positioning yourself for a good death location to come yeah. back... Mm-hmm. Like, they've already ran and just fucked up the position. And then you're like, uh, I have Aegis, I have Aegis. And it takes us, like, three times before we're like, oh, dude, I didn't realize you had Aegis as you're coming back. And you just, you either barely make it out or you die. Um, a good thing about Dota is it also <coughs> has you Excuse recognize me. when a situation's unwinnable. And you uh-huh. have to be able to accept that, too. And that's no one else's You still, you think there's situations that are unwinnable? I don't, I don't feel that way with, with this patch. Oh. I mean, unless unless I'm mega, uh, okay. unless I'm I've mega. been in games and I've been in games where like Drow, Troll, Lena, Shadow Shaman, Tide Hunter, and it's just like twenty four to four, <laughs> and like you don't have any towers okay. left at twenty minutes, and you're okay. just like you go out and like mm-hmm. instant death, and they just know you're there, and like they blow all your, the ults, and you're like, oh, they're ults boom, let's go, and then they just kill you with right clicks, and you're like, ah, fuck, and then like all your Drow says is report. <laughs> yeah oh it's just like who but, <laughs> yeah report i mean you have bad games you do but i think like that's why dota's and all of valve's games for the most part mm-hmm. um reward that type of thinking the type of thinking that you're able to lose with grace because mm-hmm. you're able to quickly get back on your feet and get in the right frame of mind to do better but i mean we can name i can name at least 10 games uh, that I've played more than 50 hours with you. Uh, and I, Street Fighter, Gears of War, uh, Halo in some cases, um, StarCraft 1, StarCraft 2. But Dota 2 takes the ball for just... It, it really does wear on us. And in our highest heights where we're like, dude, you're awesome. No, you're awesome. No, dude, what you did was yeah, awesome. Check that. Or to the lowest lows where it's like, you're fucking, you, you're fucking idiot. I think the higher the high the highs are, like, in that sense, like, scratching each other on the back and being a really nice guy when you're in a good mood, like, I think the lows are equally low in ways, you know? Like, I strive to have, like, a constant mindset because the game's always changing. And I want to be able to, like... I mean, that's why someone like Arsenity is cool to play with because mm-hmm. he has so much time with the game. Those situations, yeah. Those situations that like you don't know how to react, like you snap into like the memory of doing it. And I'm getting to that point now in ways, but and that's after 1600 hours. Maybe I'm not the smartest. Maybe I'm like Forrest Gump or something. <laughs> like Forrest simple like, man. You'll grow up to be better than me. <laughs> I hope you. Is he like me? <laughs> yeah, I'll go date a Korean woman, like <laughs> little Andrew, dude. <laughs> Well, oh man! Maybe we should edit my name out. I have, I have enemies. <laughs> you don't have enemies. Access this, and I think there are probably plenty of Andrews. But Friend you know what? Let Let's go ahead and do is let's hear from good old Cyphus on the Patreon. 
Hey guys, this is Syphus from Defense of the Patients. We wanted to let you know that we really appreciate all that you've done for us and for listening to the show. This community has been a really great thing, and we appreciate everything you guys do. If you want to support the show and the .p Guild and upcoming tournaments, visit our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash defense of the patients. You can donate and get a ton of cool prizes, things like t-shirts, stickers, and even jerseys. So if you want to support the show and the guild, visit us at patreon.com forward slash defense of the patients to support us now. And remember, tell a friend. And it's we almost are back. like the old boy never left us. <laughs> almost like old Cyphus hadn't passed on to Boise. <laughs> he used to be a good friend, he did, that Cyphus. <laughs> Always taking the wagon wheels out for a stroll. <laughs> uh, I checked the geographic and we have 150 active listeners in Idaho. So <laughs> there's got to be at after least dub, a few. Boise is a great place to live. <laughs> and after dub. <laughs> yeah, so Idaho, uh, you know, just not just potatoes, you know. <laughs> There's a little Dota going on there as well. Yeah, and a I little Cyphus right now. Isn't, you know, Amateur Dota League up there in Idaho? Is it in Idaho? I thought so. Maybe it is. I don't know. Even though, even still. The weird thing about the internet is we're all kind of from the same place. That's why we use this universal time code that I love so much. Like my hometown, like uh, YouTube or, <laughs> or e- you... E-Bombs World? <laughs> E-Bombs World. <laughs> or whatever. I don't even, I wonder if anybody, yeah, people, people look to do Dude, E-Bombs the World internet to always remembers. <laughs> all these people try to run for president and they're like, oh, that that'd probably slip past. <laughs> it's time like, I tried to, no. you know, like force myself on that woman, that'll, that'll slip past. And the internet every time is like, no video <laughs> yeah. games try to show something at e3 and it does not come out that way the internet knows like they will make the biggest backlash so I'll always be honest it's because i can hide behind this and i can be like i have opinions i have big ones and then, and then, like that's like literally but in the end in the end that's just like life yeah facts talk mm-hmm. and but it's weird it's your job to research what and filter what comes into your head and what you accept and what sure. you don't. But if I disagree with you on the street, if you're like, I want to step on cats. And I'm like, hey, you, I like cats. Don't step on cats. I feel like if you said, I want to step on cats on the internet, I would be way meaner. I, I mean, don't step on cats. This is maybe a bad example. But I would like rip you to shreds like to your soul. But on the street, I'd be like, hey, guy, don't step on cats. Go along with my day. Okay. But you, do you uh, see the point of illustrating? Take out all the step on cats. Because <laughs> it's like you're trying, like, I'm trying to follow you. And then I just keep hearing that ludicrous statement. <laughs> it's hard to follow. I, it's the first thing that came to mind, guys. I'm sorry. It's a tired mind lately. Well, the thing about arguing is it's not about winning. Yeah. But... In a but, way, it's like self-righteousness or something. I don't know. Like you get an Omni Night lift off of it? <laughs> yeah. Just like, an unless it over. <laughs> like for a douchebag aura or something? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it makes you feel good when you're like... Go to Reddit for enter. a while. Psh, I have. And I don't mean become a Redditor. Like, the, like mm-hmm. you know, people that are super into that whole thing. Mm-hmm. Which there are a lot Which of people a lot that of listen people to this that podcast are. that... Are Redditors. And I mean, like, mods of things, that's what I mean, I guess, is giving a lot of time to the site. It's probably a much different experience. But, I mean, arguments there are decided by who upvotes or downvotes you. Which is cool. And that's why Reddit stuck. And other, kind of. In and a hive mind mentality, places. you know? Like, what do you do about dissenting opinions Is it opinion hive mind, stuff? though? I don't know if it is hive mind. Do you, do you upvote something just because someone else did? Or well, do you read it first and then upload it? I think if you, a if big agree. point of Reddit is like when we see something negatively, we want to punish it. But if we see something that we like, kind of, we don't even acknowledge it. We might just okay and keep moving. Mm-hmm. I think he, us as human beings want that sensory information so easily that when we see something that pleases us, we might not even acknowledge it. Yeah. And so even if you read a comment that you like, you're not upvoting it. But if you see something that really Gets on Piss, your nerves. Pisses you off, you'll downvote it. Instantly. Mm-hmm. Because you feel like you are you have a little bit of control in the situation. You have a little situation. bit of voice. Yeah. yeah. That's weird. See, I have a Reddit account. Somebody made it. I'm, I thought it was Soviet Dance Bear. Defense of the Patients. I shouldn't say I. Uh, Defense of the Patients has uh, uh, Reddit. 
But uh, we're getting kind of off track here. No, I'm just I'm saying. I don't, I don't know about, about all that. Um, by the way, you're off the show. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, to break it to you. Oh, did, did Cyphus leave you with that message? It's yeah. like, open this when you're recording. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> let Roland know. It's a loaded gun. What the <laughs> fuck? Shoot him. What? Shoot him now. <laughs> There's bleach behind the hidden wall. Clean up your mess. Whoa. Didn't need to go there. I was like, uh, Agatha Christie, you were like... <laughs> hostile yeah hostile well um i just wanted to wrap it back around and go uh, for it you know talk about how our adversarial relation adversarial relationship has changed for the better from playing dota because we're more cooperative in the game and we're learning more to change that relationship where it comes to competition i think within the game because that's been our entire life pretty much you know doing better or yeah. whatever rollerblading and, to dota 2 <laughs> who's the best um, I, let me, I want to, uh, say I'm sorry for all those times that, uh, I thought I was right playing Meepo and, and random other heroes when I was starting and Lich and relying on that because now that I am almost to where, I think I'm of comp, of comparable skill to where you were when you, when we started this podcast, you were around 22 that's okay. I feel like I have a, as much of a grasp of the game as you did eight months ago. And I've played a shitload of games. Um, what you've done is you've played... It would make sense because you've played that concentrated amount. I switched mm -hmm. from several different games while I was learning and playing Dota. And the metas have changed. And yeah, maybe I'm a better Timbersaw, but when it comes down to it... Uh, if we if we have to pick a carry and it's between Wazoo or I, it you should be You have these community colleges like... Lycan Svenniger that just pump out the kids that just play Lycan and Sven. In ITT Techies. Yeah. <laughs> but what I want to say is that I have had some games with some people that are in their first hundred games. And you were pretty damn patient with Cyphus and I. I'll say that much. It's it's pretty tough to see stupid things. I still have marks on my soul. I can feel it. <laughs> Why but, we crash MMR and I'm just like, please just don't play Meepo again, man. <laughs> I'm gonna Meepo. It's like Sven. I'm playing like, Meepo ah, now in bot -mage. matches. Medium. Medium bots against my Meepo. And it's it's a struggle, dude. It really is. Uh, Meepo is a hard hero. Uh, I had, We had some Dota know-it-all in the game today. That was like, okay guys, this is what we're gonna do. Let's go five-man bot and let's kill a dude. And I was like, hey, that's a great idea. I agree, let's do that. Did you and smoke? so we do that. What? Did you smoke up? No, we didn't smoke up. We were just like, we're all going to go five. We're going to be aggressive. We're going to kill people. And it was like, all right, we're going to do that. So we go bottom lane and there is not a dude there. And we see like three dudes, four dudes stop grabbing that one. And he's like, damn, guess that didn't work. And then he just continues to like the entire game micromanaging everybody dude just like a dota know-it-all that's and, when you mute and move on and i was the number one mmr i was i didn't mute though some people want to take control of the game and it's okay to give over like control to someone who wants to be a decisive leader i think and in some ways it can really help your game but when they start leading you into ridiculous scenarios that don't pay off you mm -hmm. need to question if that's a, the right guy to be following the he, of. he was also the guy the you're dead guy which nobody likes the you're dead guy. Hey, guess we what? We did uh, a Tales from the Trench or something. No, that, that was another no, show. No, we ne we haven't done Tales. Uh, uh, Translations from the Trench. Translations Tales from, from the, the Trench. Tales from the Trench is a uh, animated thing on YouTube. You should check out. It's pretty oh, funny. Oh, okay. Um, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, he was saying that Dota's easy. He said Dota's just Dota's an easy game. League of Legends is way harder. And I was like, okay, I've never played League of Legends. I have no opinion on that. We're playing Dota right yeah, now. Yeah, that's what I said. And we were in. A, I was in a game with Fro or Counter Pick or Feed Throw, whichever you prefer. And he was like, we like, we can all agree that like Dota every time, is way like, better. Every time he tries to mediate in this scenario, I just imagine like <laughs> him in Jesus sandals and like a long man dress, like. But my fellow men, we cannot fight this way. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's always like that Jesus mode. To give you a real painting of uh, our, our good friend Fro, or Counterpick, or Feed Throw, whichever you prefer, he's the type of dude who wears jeans with giant holes in them, rides his bike everywhere, has glasses and really, really long hair, and works as a pizza delivery guy. Yep. And we love him to fucking death. Yeah, he's a good but, friend. <laughs> he's a really good friend. But um, he he's a cool guy. He takes things. He he thinks about things. He apologizes when he's wrong. He's a good player. 
He's a good player at times. And, it's, and I a mean, bad player The thing at times. with, like, friends in Dota mm-hmm. is... I think that's why it's good to, like, just have some people you meet up with and play with, and that's all you do mm-hmm. with them, is because, like, with your friend relationships, like, you meet up a day later. and Not a day later. <laughs> I live with Roland, so <laughs> yep. I live in the basement, so, like, I'll come out right after the game. and It's like mm-hmm. the atmosphere will be, like, all tense. Well, because of Audrey and me? No. Oh. Because we lost, like, a terrible game oh. that you fed away <laughs> that maybe we're up by 20 kills. Here comes, here comes and, the tension. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I can't not acknowledge that. And you don't want to acknowledge it. You're just, like, typing and you're just, I gotta do homework. And it's like, <laughs> but one thing, dude. Hey, guess who gave you a pass on your feed away game as Troll? Where we, Troll, the broken hero that you couldn't win us a game because you didn't buy a fucking MKB. Even though we told you, like, eight years ago. You have one ago, thing, dude. You don't need a Shadow Blade. You need an MKB. One thing, dude. <laughs> you could have got The reason I got javelins. a goddamn Shadow Blade is because I was getting kited because all my team would run away when I wouldn't have an Aegis anymore. <laughs> don't try to my BKB and run in and they, their whole team would run and you guys would be like eh, run it behind and you're just like you gotta gotta make sure you chase after the slow heroes and it's like at 20 minutes hey dude are you starting to BKB yeah right after this item 30 minutes hey dude how's your BK or MKB coming you don't even know the name yeah 10 yet. minutes I said 40 let minutes let alone you what? still don't have an MKB I just built the shadow blade and it's like why why guess who gave you until now a free pass for that game. I feel like I'm on, like, Crossfire. <laughs> you didn't in one game, Sam, built the wrong item choice. <coughs> well, it's like, it, yes, it I did. did I built a game. wrong item and we lost a game. But you know what? Those are games that I like to lose in the late game, Josh. I don't like to lose games at minute eight and a half. <laughs> you think Whereas I just lose like, games? <gasps> Triple Ultra Kill. And it's like all of them are you somehow. And you're just like, <laughs> Bob back. Had a bloodstone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And you're just like, you're just like, how could that be a thing? How did he get a rampage on rolling? Ten feeds by ten minutes. You're just like, oh, I've been worse than that. I'm cruel because I'll be like, my word, dude, I've never seen anything like it. Because, and I don't mean that like, I'm just trying to put you down. I mean, I've never seen anything quite like it. (laughs) Like, just the feed. Oh, they saw it tonight. A lot of the guild mates saw it tonight. Uh... I was playing a random visage, you and I was play zero more conservatively. Like, 17. like I see scenarios where I'm like, no chance in hell could you even <laughs> force me into that situation, and you're running in, dude. And it's like, bro, what are you doing? It's like, there's this big debate going on right now at at uh, in one of my classes about problem solving and can it be taught? And the resounding answer seems to be, no. Problem solving is something that is is learned through repetition of specific tasks and i feel like that also applies to dota with when to chase when not to chase when to dive when not to dive can it be taught yes it can but <laughs> i you don't need know to open up your ego to the to the first okay i don't it's even pretty know much comes ego. down to this you need a flow chart in your mind what are you going to gain you need to ask yourself that question before you commit your resources which is your hero I, to a scenario do you do really do that yes i don't well, you're fucking Russell Crowe from A Beautiful Mind, dude. No, because and I do a simple binary in my head. <laughs> I, I, I believe Troll will get his nerve this week. <laughs> yeah. According to the first column of this. <laughs> it just highlights in your mind the newspaper perfectly. And Mally would like to fly here and like meet me in a suit. And I'd be like, he's offered me a contract. <laughs> <laughs> it would just be Mally because he'd be our... our our other celebrity guest. I imagine Mally like flying in on a plane and a red carpet rolls like, out and he's like, We've never seen someone quite like him. He's predicting all the results. <laughs> he's been the biggest thing for Joe and Dorto since maybe me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Matt, I played with Mally today. It was a blast. It's a beautiful mid. <laughs> it's a beautiful mid. <laughs> How come those ideas aren't presented when we're, like, scratching the walls for ideas for an intro? <laughs> Beautiful mid. <laughs> I love it when you guys are like... Never mind. No, go ahead. No, I know what you're about to say and go ahead. When you guys ask me, <laughs> yeah. and you're like, what? And I'm like, nothing, dude. Because sometimes you're even like, you're not funny as you think you are. And I'm just like, you're not nearly funny right now, but I'm funny when you need help writing a sketch. <laughs> Wazoo is responsible for a lot of the earlier sketches. Um, my you favorite guys have... was the Luna, the Luna bit, uh, which 
guess what? We, you were, we were ripping somebody off back then. Because Sir Action Slacks is famous for Luna. Oh, but really? Yeah, he, that's like his big thing is Luna. And he did an intro with us called Luna Charms. But you did one yeah. at the start of Dot P about Luna and how she. It was a public service announcement about Luna and how she needs the rune for her bottle. Yeah, and I remember that. This is before bounty runes. This is before two runes. This was back when there was one rune and you warded one of them and you used deductive logic where it spawned. And uh, I thought it was hilarious. And that was when this, the intro started. It was kind of because of Wazoo. It was like, like, do we do something funny? Like, I don't know. How do we like differentiate i guess i think you need to have a variety show you know? mm-hmm. i think you got to do a lot at the same time yeah but like we're doing and i guess like we're hitting good time on the show and god it did feel good to come back guys um it's not something i can do a lot because i do work full-time mm-hmm. if i seemed super out of it or we did i mean this is we're coming off like 16 18 hour days here. It's long, but, but and we like jazzed ourselves up. We both walked in like zombies, and we're like, yeah. I enjoy coming on the show immensely. Um, I enjoy what P has become as a community to me personally, and that's all we ever wanted, really. So that's pretty good to see that growing. Um, we just wanted a group of people that kind of was like w- were us. a counterpoint to that like uh, scenario you could have with Dota, where you feel like you're alone playing it, even mm-hmm. though like. There are a ton of people that play it that are just like you, you know, they're just learning, trying to figure it out. And you know, and like what? I yell sometimes, like, but I do yell at Roland the most, probably <laughs> of anybody, and that's because of that adversarial brother relationship. Like he doesn't want to listen to my advice sometimes, and I just don't want him to get creamed because I don't want the gold to go to somebody, and I don't want him to be humiliated in front of like King Joffrey. <laughs> yes, he has said that several times, like. Dude, you're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> it's just like it's a game. Fuck off. Dude, anyway, I take battlements. I take battle seriously. You take, you do, <laughs> and I've always been that way. You do it's take just, things seriously. I think it's a D and D trade. Like I picked up foolhardy or something when I was born. As my uh, first would it trade. be called foolhardy? I think it would be called um, uh, foolhardy's from another. Never part. back down or something like that. There's yeah, some feat that's like down never back down, uh, where it's like no matter what fight. Yeah, Lucius Cyphus was here to tell us about all this D and D bullshit. No one cares about. But uh, Cyphus was just like, uh, uh, hold on. Uh, the answer to that is this. Uh, uh referring to book number five in the no, he already player's knows handbook. It. He he is an encyclopedia for knowledge, but often I question it. And there have been several times he's wrong. And he doesn't make us worry about food. And as a god, sometimes he like, should make us worry about food. I see, food. I see the things he forgets in his day to day, and it's just like. It's like, well, how'd you forget that, man? Yeah. It's just like, that's important shit you can't forget. Sometimes in our campaigns, I'm like, dude, am I hungry? Like, how do I feel? Am I, like, satiated? Do I need to eat? Because we've been on the road for two weeks, and I don't remember eating any of those types of Yeah, just streamline the process, bro. Like, yeah, you ate the whole time. You feel totally good. Your stomach is great. It's like, tell me about it. Tell me about when I ate, bro. Anyway, mm. we give him too much shit. He's a great friend. Uh, he's going to be moving away soon. And we're not going to have a slash around. That's going to be weird that you're going to have to fake your own death and, like, move away with him. <laughs> like, like, it won't have to go to that level, but I could see in your mind how it's going to have to because you got the fiancé and stuff. Where it's like, hey, babe, I'm gonna, we're going to do a long-distance relationship now. I'm going to go live in Denny's dorm. <laughs> we're just going to play Dota and he's going to go to school. I'll It'll get, like, like, a welding you will be, like, a nuclear family. <laughs> Oh, anyway, let's uh, let's close the show. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, you can find us at defenseofthepatients.com or on Twitter at .p underscore show. Uh, you can find us on iTunes where you can give us a comment and a rating. This is my favorite portion of it all. You can also go to Patreon like you heard uh, Cyphus say earlier in the show where you can donate to get cool prizes. We're going to add some more prizes. I know I've been saying that a very long time. Um... Lastly, go ahead and email us at defenseofthepatients wow. at gmail.com. <laughs> Was that loud? It's like a dragon shout. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> That's the uh, one everyone knows. <laughs> that is the one everyone knows. Doesn't knows. pass any speech check from you, um, dude. That's like a five speech check. <laughs> anyway. So I don't think you're a real fan. Anyway, um, this, also, geez, God, does someone win I'm a card? Sick, you have to call bro. someone down from the... I'm sick. Check behind door number one, and you gotta. Did you want to say something? Because I was gonna. Say... I'm still on Twitter at uh, dot p underscore wazoo. Yes. I still check in. 
and I find out the weirdest information, and I always love that I go on because I don't see that information anywhere else. Mm-hmm. Like, I get have this weird uh, Filipino. How many followers do you have? I don't know. Like, several hundred. Yeah, I, I know you had like... 400 or something. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. I don't know. I don't follow it too much. Mm-hmm. But um, some Dota got banned in a village in the Philippines because someone got murdered. What? Like two guys were fighting <laughs> over a game. Are it's you sure about this? Because this will be checked. No, this you information. should check into it. I mean, I don't know if it's necessary. I'm no, I'm 100 percent sure. <laughs> okay, you like you're like wait, let me let me. I'm 100 percent sure. It was a village, and they got in a fight over. Well, but cause... it was the, they banned it in the internet cafes. There It wasn't like banned as a thing you could ever do, but Whoa. because I guess it was a source of too much tension. It is. Oh, dude, so, could you imagine that if, if that was... Yeah, anyway. This has been an awesome show featuring Wazoo. It has. Thank you. For, um, sorry, I keep trailing off because I, I, you know, all this unfocused Dota gobbledygook in my head. Mm-hmm. But uh, thank you guys for having me on. Of course. <laughs> if we could have a prayer for old Cyphers. <laughs> May his soul rest good and boise. <laughs> anyway, this is Roland for Wazoo saying good luck. And Godspeed. I believe Troll will get us nerfed this week.